What's up guys, Wonder to Win here and I bring you RU Battle. I just made this team last night and I, I was um, testing it out and I actually pretty much like it and um, I'm definitely going to do a live narration with this team uh, before the month is over and yeah, I'm just going to get right into it because it's kind of a lengthy battle. Uh, 15 minutes long, good lord. Okay, so um, I'm on the other side because you know, I don't know why IPS just randomly does it every once in a while I put you on the other side. Um, basically, I bring out Sand Slash in, um, in hopes to bring out the Tan Grove so I can poison it. And that's what I do. I just uh, talk to the uh, Tan Grove as it comes in, putting that thing on a timer. It does have regeneration, so basically, when it comes out, it's not going to stay out and then, um, it's going to rack up a lot of damage if it does. Now, I do go to Licky Licky Asleep Father just because um, I didn't really, I forgot. <laughs> I didn't, I wasn't paying attention. And, um,. It, I really don't have anything on my team that wants to go to sleep. I guess I could have put to sleep Jinx because Jinx is just there to fill in this uh, the sixth spot. Anyway, I go into Valanchula. He's going to go for the Lee Seed. Doesn't matter because I'm not going to stay in. I wait. Did he go for the Lee Seed? I'm not seated. Um, I don't remember where he went for. I was not looking. I was looking at Jinx being useless over there. Um, I just go for the Bug Buzz. I know Lantern is going to come in because it has the uh, Voter Sword. That definitely tells me that it does have a Voter Sword. Um, so I'm just going to go for the Giga Drain, but he actually goes in the X Cavalier. I was fearing that he would be uh, the Choice Bandit and have the Pursuit, but he doesn't go for it. So um, he was just using it to block my move, thinking I was stuck into something, maybe? Stuck in the Bug Bus. And this way he can use this to get a big hit off in the form of Mega Horn. But I do have Quillfish. I go into Quillfish. Quillfish not only resists the hit, um, I also get the Intimidate off, but that still does a lot of damage, so that more than likely is still banded. Um, ah, that damage, yeah. So, he's just going to go into his Lantern, and I know um, I'm just going to get Spike up. I know he has Sand Slash, but at the same time, if I can, whenever it comes in, it's going to get worn out by the Hazards. And, um, yeah, I don't have a Ghost. I, Rotom would probably would be a better um, pick than uh Garantula. and but I just want to use Garantula basically and I just go back into that against the lantern he's gonna get the heal bell it's fine it takes the toxins off of Tangrove all I have to do is just predict again and that's not gonna be a big issue so um, once again he brings out as Cavalier I may not be able to take this thing out in one hit but I am wearing it down with him using it to block my uh, Garantula for some reason not, you, actually he should have stayed in with lantern with was gold and got a burn or something but um, Lantern does not have the greatest uh, recover recoveries. It just has lefties, unless you want to give it um, rest. And um, yeah, so <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what I'm doing. <laughs> anyway, I take out that Scavalier with another um, Volt Switch. And now I go into my Jinx to bet out his Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl is going to come out. I thought he would really go for Stuff Rocks, but he goes for uh, Stone Edge. And that crits and almost kills my guy like, that's, that's not good. That's definitely not good. It was not a great switch in for me. I really thought he would go for Stealth Rocks. So, um, he does have Sand Slash, and that could possibly have Stealth Rocks too. But, it seems to be a Choice Bandit. Um, I'm guessing that this might be Choice Bandit just because it doesn't carry the rocks. So, it doesn't need Focus Sash and all that stuff. A suicide lead, usual, uh, what a usual suicide aerodactyl lead it is. Um, so, I'm, I'm guessing right now, I'm saying it's Choice Bandit, but I don't know that yet. So, uh, probably predicting me to go for the Stuff Rocks, and that way he can get the ref spin off. Um, he goes and go, he's gonna go into Sand Slash. I'm just gonna Toxic because um, I kind of figured he would do that. Either Sand Slash or Tangrove would come in, and I would just Toxic. So, I do get earthquake off um, just to get some damage off as he gives up his stuff rocks now I am he can go into Tangrove he can go into Aerodactyl he can go into Crest anything that blocks the earthquake um, I'm not exactly sure what he's gonna go to I am gonna do another earthquake just in case he wanted to stay in and um, wear his sand splash down some more but that wouldn't make any sense because um, I, I could still get hazards up so he wants to definitely keep that alive so I'm going to, I hope you didn't hear this Skype thing. <laughs> My Skype updated, so now the noises are back, and uh, I need to take him off. <laughs> oh man, so uh, I'm going to Licky Licky, because basically it's a pivot switch, because it can take um, any move from uh, this Tangrove, and I can just go into something else, or make a move um, 
currently basically that's what a pivot switch is I don't know why I have to explain that I, I just choose to explain things I don't have to explain he's gonna go into sand slash and I'm just gonna switch out into a public Gravantula 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 yes nice so I have the Giga Drain I can use that um, if he wants to stay in I doubt he wants to stay in like I said this thing is gonna be quite handy but okay okay no never mind he decides to stay in and get ready to sand slash so my hazards are here to stay once I get them up so <clears throat> that uh, that's a big thing in this in this tier um, if you get all your hazards up and your person and your person if your opponent doesn't have a spinner ooh man it's just you're gonna have a bad time so I know he's probably gonna go for stone edge I'm just gonna go into um, sand slash he actually goes for the octail misses which is oh crap so I'm like all right I can take that from the amount of um, health I am. It, I mean, I know it's a, it's an Aerodactyl and it's on stab move. It's short banded, but it's still an Aerodactyl. So, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, I'm just going to stay in knowing I can take one and just get the rapid spin off. That way, um, his rocks are hit. Uh, I can switch out more without taking chip damage and all that stuff. So, he's going to go on Lantern. I'm probably going to go on Gravantula. I don't really remember this battle. It was yesterday. Actually, I go on the Jinx. Okay, I go on the Jinx, predicting the Scald. Um, more than likely, I'm gonna go for, go for a lovely kiss, and I'm sorry if I'm talking a little bit fast. Um, once I get started, I just I just start going. Um, I do miss the lovely kiss, and he's just gonna get a volt switch off. And uh, okay, it didn't do as much damage as I thought it did. Um, I'm not really surprised about the lovely kiss. I think it's only 60, 65 percent accuracy. <sighs> Whatever. So he's gonna go in the air attack though. And this thing is a threat. This thing is a threat. So I know, I know he's gonna go for the awkward tail, right? No, wait. I know. Uh, okay, this is this was this was really awkward. So I know he had access to the awkward tail, right? And he used it last time my sand uh, slash came in. So he thought that I would fear that and um, stay in with Jinx because I have uh, water absorb or dry skin. Sorry, this is basically the same thing. But um, I actually go in sand slash anyway, predicting him to over predict because last time. He went for awkward tail, so that was that was probably my best play of the game, and um, yeah, so that it, it it's okay. So I I finally get rocks up because uh, I'm tired of just Aerodactyl getting in here for free, and then I'm gonna go into Quillfish um, to get the intimidate to force him out. That just proves this this series of plays also proves that the thing is choice bandit, just because he um, he doesn't switch up moves, especially when Quillfish is out there. He can now speed or EQ. And, potentially not uh, probably two hits to take me out but um I just choose to go ahead and get my spikes up now um, tank growth and lantern is gonna take more and more damage as they come in um, I don't think I ever get my third spike up and that's okay because uh, I don't really I don't think it make the big of difference but I might get it up I don't remember <laughs> I'm gonna go into uh, Gervantula just uh, predicting these called or I could have went into Jinx but uh, Gravantula has Giga Drain, and I can get some health back with that. Uh, unfortunately, he does have Toxic, which you know makes sense with his set, and he's gonna uh, hit me with that. I don't have a heal. I do have a heal Bella, but my heal Bella is asleep. Now Giga Drain does take him out this time. Um, last time he did 33%, he was at 37, and this time he did 37%. So that was uh, the min max damage there that um, helped me out. I don't have to take extra turns of toxic damage. I am stuck in the Giga Drain. I could outspeed this Aerodactyl and take it out with my Gavantula because it is Scarf. Um, but yeah, I'm just I'm not gonna do that because I'm stuck in the Giga Drain. I'm going go into Quillfish just to get the uh, Intimidate off. That way, this thing is not hurting as much as um, it could be possibly. I don't stop. <laughs> I'm just trying to explain it. I don't know what's going on. Uh, he's going with Stone Edge again, and I finally lose the first Pokemon. Yo, my 6-0. I was not worried about that the entire time, trust me. I'm not trying to get 6-0. Um, and so, I go into Sand Slash, I definitely take whatever he has. Um, he's going to go to Take Row. I better predict this and go for the Toxic. I better predict this and go for the Toxic. Did I predict this and go for the Yes! Thank you. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder what I'm doing when, I'm, when I watch myself rebattle. Um, so he does go to Tank Growth. It, it takes a good amount of damage from the hazards, and it is now toxic. Thank you. His heal pillar is dead, and it was in the form of um, Lantern. Um, he can go for the Leaf Seed or something like that, but I'm just going to go on a Licky Licky. Maybe this thing will wake up, maybe not. Um, if anything, this Licky Licky has been asleep since like the third, sec fourth turn of the battle, so it's funny. Um, I was using, what is it, Quillfish? One battle, Quillfish was asleep. 
and kept bringing it in and intimidating, taking it out. It did it did a lot of work, and it was it did not do a move the entire time. Um, so uh, he's gonna bring out his Aerodactyl. I'm actually gonna sacrifice my Licky Licky. Um, maybe I can wake up. Maybe I can get a Body Slam off. Maybe I can paralyze. It's at least gonna be a two hit KO, but it doesn't seem like it's gonna work. I am protecting. That's why I'm going first because I'm just trying to protect. Maybe get a miss somewhere. But he doesn't seem, he seems to have brought his glasses to the battle. And he is not missing any stone edges whatsoever. And um, that's fine because I still have Garantula, who is faster. I can just go for Volt Switch. Um, but I go in the Sun Slash. Why do I go in the Sun Slash? I don't, I don't know. Now he misses. The thing that doesn't care about stone edges, he, he misses. And I get a Toxic off. So now I'm bringing that down anymore. Gylate is actually still viable because Gylate has Shadow Sneak. So if he chooses to uh, switch out and come back in, uh, he would be on an amount of health where I think Galley could take him out with a Shadow Snake. Now I am just going to, what am I, <laughs> I don't know what I did. I probably EQ'd, predicting him to go into um, Tank Growth because he's been like he's been babysitting Chris the entire time, and that's uh, that's not good. That makes me think that the fact that he does that that it is a threat because if it wasn't, he would have used it by now. Um, I'm just gonna go on the Jinx. I forgot that Licky Licky died and he did have the ability to use sleep powder again. I'm like, hello, this is a glitch. Why are you using sleep powder? I'm like, oh, wait, I killed off Licky Licky. Okay, so um, that's fine. I could have went into this, <clears throat> but I forgot that, like I said, I forgot that um, he had already he had already killed Licky Licky and uh, put that to sleep. So, uh, yep, now my Gravantula is both toxic and least seated this is not good at all but i'm just gonna bug bust it's gonna kill it's not gonna get in the, i'm not gonna take any least seed damage so um just the toxic and um he has two pokemon left one being aerodactyl another one being crest and crest has not seen the light of battle this is turn 41 people crest has not even been on the field so this i'm still worried about it so i have to keep my garage look um, just in case, um, and I'm just gonna sacrifice Jinx. Uh, he has to go for attacking. He's banded. Uh, we have we have affirmed this. And um, what I could do is go to Gavantula and um, both switch out. But I'm actually gonna get Galade in here. Um, he hasn't done anything for a while, and he deserves rest, uh, retribution. Retribution. He deserves revenge for getting Critic Stone Edge. So he's gonna come in, Shadow Sting, take out Aerodactyl. Um, then uh, Crush is gonna come in here, and I'm gonna pray. Two Arceus, two Groudon, and two Kyogre all at the same time. That this is not a calm mind crest and um oh sub sub actually. If this is sub crest, I'm in trouble. So you see how the tides are turn. I was in early not too long ago in the battle I had six against four and now it's two against one. Um this stuff it, it, you have to be safe. It's no reason to make uh, unnecessary switches and moves and rec be reckless even though you're in in the lead so I'm gonna come in here I'm hope I'm gonna hope that he doesn't have sub he doesn't go for sub he goes for the psychic and I'm like yes toxic please die so I get the toxic off I'm gonna die into another psychic it's obvious and then it's gonna be up to Gravantula now Bug Buzz from uh, Gravantula is a two hit KO I believe but I am poison so I didn't want to take the chance of him trying to moonlight stall or something like that maybe he had sub he could have got behind the sub and I would have been in trouble because he could have just moonlight stalled or something. I don't know. Um, I didn't. I didn't. I don't like Chris. I never liked Chris. Chris is too bulky. It is exactly too bulky. And um, so I bug buzz. I don't kill. I am modest, <clears throat> and that's still a two hit KO at seventy percent. So um, I am going to be able to take it out in this uh, amount of health. And that was a good game, BLT. Um, I'm not going to lie. I love baking lettuce and tomato on my my cheeseburger. So. Um, I'm just, I don't know, whatever. It's been 15 minutes, uh, 14 minutes. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching the battle, the entire battle. I tried to stay, you know, uh, excited this entire time. And it is morning time. I am tired. I just woke up. And, uh, um, whatever. I hope you enjoyed. I hope, I, I appreciate everybody subbing to me. Um, thanks, Joey, um, for, you know, the shout out I did for his, I mean, he, I did a birthday battle for him. He gave me a shout out. <clears throat> I really appreciate that. And, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy my content. Now, all my videos will not be this long, and um, I will bring you a Are You um, Live narration um, P on P uh, Pokemon Showdown sometime in the next week or so before January, and that will start you. You.
um, the month of Yuyu. So, uh, yeah, bye. I wasted enough of time. Get out of here. Go have fun. Bye. <laughs>